previously on Rock the Walls, Saturdays 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern. Now, last summer on the Vans Warped Tour, you wrote a bit of an article about, you know, the, the state of Warped Tour and some of the bands and whatnot. Yeah. I mean, you know, this year's lineup obviously already announced and, you know, seeing how, what what kind of a shift the main stage has been this year. I mean, now there's uh, bands like Asking Alexandria and Attack Attack and, you know, then there's obviously, you know, the regular bands like Prada and August Burns Red, the yeah. day to remember. But, I mean, for you and kind of seeing it, you know, stepping away, I mean, it seems like every time I die, you guys kind of like to do Warped Tour every other year type yeah. deal whenever you guys are on a new record. I mean, you know, it's, it's a look at the lineup this year and kind of kind of see where they're coming from. I mean, obviously, Warp Tour is a business at the end of the day, yeah. but uh, how, how do you really feel about it moving forward with the band? Uh, I mean, it's it's unfortunate because it it used to be if it used to be so many bands sort of pandering to, to the mainstream. You know, bands would change styles just to get on the radio, and you'd see that so many times. You'd see these hardcore bands that you knew growing up with, and they'd write a record in hopes of getting signed to a major. And then they'd get signed to a major, and then the major would just screw them over completely. Mm-hmm. And it was like, okay, well, you learn your lesson. You don't kowtow to the, to the labels. And now it's like where I thought that that was just sort of the essence of being in a band is just doing your own thing. Now, unfortunately, it's switched so that the majors are absolutely 100% just bending over backwards for the bands because the labels realize it's the bands that get internet fans. It's the bands that can do their own promotion, own publicity if they want to through the internet. And they could essentially make the labels money. So now you're getting these awful, awful bands that are getting signed to majors. And, you know, I, there's this, I know I'm not even going to say the name of the band or the label, but uh, this old, very, very seminal, old, hardcore label just signed one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's a, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a pile of horse shit. And it's like, wow, what happened to the integrity of the label? And you realize there is no integrity because they're going out of business if they can't get a band to generate fans. So um, I really feel like. You know, I think that you have to play the game a little bit, but it's not the bands playing the game anymore. It's from the stance of Warp Tour. Warp Tour has to play the game because mm-hmm. they obviously need, they want to get kids there, so they got to put bands on stage that's going to draw kids. And it's just unfortunate, you know, some of these things. But I mean, Warp Tour still does know, and I know for a fact that Warp Tour is very aware of the shit. You know, they absolutely know it. I have no doubt that, you know, Kevin Lyman and, and everyone that works for Warp Tour, you know, says, okay, yeah, this band is awful, awful, awful. But, you know, there's going to be kids. They, they have a lot of they have a lot of fans, and, you know, it's a chance for them to play, and it's a chance for kids to come out and see them this summer. So, you know, they, they play the game. But at the same time, like you said, they still put bands like Divorce Prod and Alex Springs Red and, and stuff like that, you know, hardcore bands on because they still are aware of how important 